So we hear a lot of terms. There's cannabis, CBD, THC, and hemp. Is it all marijuana or is there a difference? Our next insider explains. What we have to differentiate is between cannabis or marijuana and hemp, as well as CBD and THC. So those are the, the big ones to differentiate. So cannabis um, is actually a plant that has all these different cannabinoids and it produces two of the most prominent, THC and CBD. Hemp, on the other hand, it comes from the cannabis species, but it does also have the CBD molecule, which is cannabidiol. And so what's legal in the United States in all 50 states would be CBD from a hemp plant. And that would mean it would have also 0.3% THC or less. And so that's really important because the THC is a psychoactive molecule. So hemp is legal, you can buy it online, many people sell it, and it contains CBD, which has a lot of medicinal properties. Um, however, CBD from hemp uh, may be similar to the effect you would get from CBD from cannabis. However, it does have less than 0.3% THC, so there's no chance of any psychoactivity there. So CBD is cannabidiol. CBD is, And yes. THC stands for what? For tetrahydrocannabinol. And what exactly is that again? So that's one of the cannabinoids that causes the psychoactive effect, and that's because it binds to that CB1 receptor in our brain. Um, but it has a lot of medicinal benefits also. So people who are going through chemotherapy, for example, and suffering from nausea and vomiting or need to increase their appetite, THC can be very effective. It's also great for pain, all different types of pain, pain from uh, neuropathy or you know the typical sciatic type of pain, um, muscle spasticity patients with MS or um, a lot of other chronic musculoskeletal issues and uh, very beneficial for insomnia as well. What is hemp oil and is there any um, medicinal benefit there too? So, so hemp oil does contain CBD. The problem with hemp oil is that it's not regulated strict enough and now actually I think today Trump may sign the farm bill and the farm bill actually would make hemp completely legal so that it's no longer part of that definition where it's part of that schedule one and so you can get cbd from hemp and um, it would be very exciting if the farm bill does pass and trump signs that because now they'll be able to regulate what happens because the industry similar to supplements there's not a lot of uh, strict enforcement so people are producing uh, hemp oil selling it and it may not have the proper cannabinoid profile, it may have things like mold, pesticides, uh, lead, different things that can be taken up from the soil. So it has a lot of benefit and it can be bought online or you know in physicians offices. However, it should be regulated so that we know that the patients are getting accurate amount of what they need. And I was hearing in the news that it looked like it was going to pass, that he yeah, was so going to sign it. It seems like it's going to happen today, hopefully. Yeah, I think so today, exactly. Uh, let's go over uh, CBD hemp oil. We have a graphic, if you could walk us through this, doctor. So in order to be uh, considered hemp oil, the CBD has to have, the, the oil has to have less than 0.3% THC, which would mean there wouldn't be any chance of any feeling of being high or psychoactivity. It should be third-party lab tested, which means that you can send it to uh, a lab to check the cannabinoid profile and for any other contaminants. And then how it's extracted is important. They, there's ethanol extractions, there's CO2 extractions, um, and the way I look at CBD is it really is more of a wellness type of supplement and I always tell people it's going to be in our multivitamin because we make a molecule in our body that is very similar to that molecule and as we age we make less and so it's really one of the reasons why we get chronic disease because we're not able to regulate and maintain homeostasis. So it's something that people should be taking on a daily basis. And then if they have specific symptoms like anxiety or pain or insomnia, they can take it in specific doses or specific routes of administration. And is CBD hemp oil legal in all 50 states? It is. It is. It is legal. Okay. I want to go over uh, some reasons why you would prescribe CBD and THC. We have a few examples that we can show our viewers right now. And that would be anti-inflammatory. I actually will let you take them because there's a sure. few of them. <laughs> So CBD is a great anti-inflammatory. So when dealing with joint inflammation or any type of inflammation in our body, uh, CBD can be used instead of things like ibuprofen, meloxicam, different anti-inflammatories. It's also great for anxiety. So a lot of patients are able to get off their Xanax, their Valium, their Clonopin by using CBD. It's helpful for pain and it's a good analgesic as well as an antioxidant to help with the immune system. Hmm. THC on the other hand, uh, actually the, the United States has a patent saying that that it can 
um, help with apoptosis, which is programmed cell death, which means that it can help to shrink tumors, it can help decrease metastasis, so it has this anti-cancer property, and also antispasmodic. Patients who are suffering from spasticity or muscle spasms, it will help with that as well. It's also effective for pain, and again, it can help with nausea, vomiting, stimulating people's appetite, and um, if CBD is not sufficient for sleep, THC can be used to help patients suffering from insomnia. Look at that, more than I even dreamed of. Are <laughs> patients surprised when they see that? So they- Do the patients come in and go, really? They are surprised, but what happens is a lot of patients actually come to me because I've had success with their friends or their family, and so they are understanding the benefits and they're feeling, they're seeing people feel better, and so they want to know, is this an option for me? And by the way, President Trump did sign the Farm Bill, which legalizes hemp. You can find out more on CBD. Just download the Health Channel app.